everyone, it's Annie, and today I'm going to tell you my TBR for this February's Polarthon. Yes, I've worn this shirt for like the last three videos. I'm sorry, <laughs> this is just my schedule. I'm not going to change shirts for every video. So Polarthon is a yearly readathon hosted by JD Ray Reads, and I'll link all the information, including her channel, down below. So this Polarthon is happening the first week of February, February 1st through 7th. This year it is split up into teams, Polar Bear, Penguin, Walrus, and Arctic Fox. I am choosing Team Polar Bear, yay! <laughs> First of all, these little mascots are so cute. I just love the drawing so much. I chose Polar Bear not for any special reason, just because the books on my TBR fit the Polar Bear prompts the best. I actually love penguins. Penguins are my favorite animal, so oh well. <laughs> I really love the idea of this readathon. I never really noticed polar fantasies before, and I'm not a big fantasy reader in general, but now that I think about it, I think polar fantasies are really, really beautiful and interesting, so I'm looking forward to reading more about those this February. So the first prompt that everyone has to complete, regardless of team, is to read, of course, a polar fantasy book. So if you guys have been watching my videos for the past couple of weeks, you know that I've been reading the Winter Night Trilogy by Catherine Arden. I finished the first two books, so I have to finish the last book, The Winter of the Witch. So I'll read it for this Polarthon. It will cover the read a polar fantasy prompt and the polar bear team prompt, read a book with a white cover. So it's perfect. The next prompt is to read a book with a cold word. So it can be snow, frost, shiver, ice, you know, anything like that, winter. Um, but you can't triple up on prompts, so I'm going to read The Snow Child. This has been on my TBR for a while. I know this book is very, very popular. It's about an older couple who don't have children, and one day the wife makes a child sculpture out of snow, and it comes to life. And it's about this snow child. And it just sounds like a beautiful, magical story that I absolutely want to read. So I'm very glad that I'll be getting to it this February. The next prompt is to read a book with cozy vibes. I had some trouble <laughs> thinking about this prompt because how am I supposed to know if a book has cozy vibes if I've never read it before, you know? But I ended up choosing Little Women. I know this is like a Christmassy book, it's not Christmas anymore, but it's still winter and I really want to read this book this year. One of my goals is to read more classics and this is definitely up there with all the classics that I want to get to. I know it's pretty long, <laughs> so it's a little bit ambitious to read in a week, <laughs> but I really want to read this. However, if you have any other cozy book vibes that you want to recommend to me, please do so. I'd love to hear about your recs. And the last prompt is to read a book about a journey. Now, I chose an arc that I received from NetGalley because, God help me, I have to get through all of these arcs. <laughs> I have so many to read and they are piling up very fast. I chose Bicycling with Butterflies. This is not a polar fantasy at all. First of all, it's nonfiction. Second of all, it is not anywhere near snow or Russia or Nordic countries or anywhere cold. It's about this person who rides their bicycle along the monarch butterflies migration trail. And that just sounds so beautiful. I remember as a kid being super fascinated by the fact that all of these butterflies just up and migrate every year. And it's just, it's so beautiful to me. First of all, the cover is gorgeous. I just love it. I love butterflies. I love nature writing. I love travel memoirs. This book sounds like it's going to be perfect for me. So I'm really glad that I can read it for this prompt and also read an arc that I need to read for this readathon. 
All right, guys, and that's my TBR for this Polarthon. I really hope you enjoyed. If you're also participating in Polarthon this year, please let me know down in the comments. I'd love to talk to you about it and get to know my fellow readathoners. <laughs> And let me know what books you're planning to read and what team you're on. Alright guys, I had a lot of fun filming this and I'm looking forward to reading all of these books. I'll see you next time. Bye!